Welcome to On Par. To provide you and your students the best learning experience, we've asked a few teachers to highlight their strategies for high engagement and optimal results. On Par is definitely very different. What I found was that the first assessment they took was quite challenging for them. As we've now, this is their third, it was much easier for them. Um, they could do it on their own. One thing that I did start doing that helped kind of the motivation piece is um, I have given maybe an extra credit point on assignments or um, I recently gave a free homework pass to a literacy assignment. And looking at what you should know based off of our energy knowledge, if you get 17 or more, you will get another free assignment sheet. Let's see if y'all can beat second period's results. Can y'all do it? Yes, we can. One of the things that just put them at ease was I told them it was ungraded. And I just was straight up with the students and I said, uh, you know, these are slides I'm gonna be counting, these are ones I'm not, but please try your best. It's about a learning opportunity. I uh, really, really tried to focus on the idea of having be a learning opportunity for the students. <clears throat> and that seemed to help them a lot, especially when I took the grade component away, I noticed much more engagement in the task. So I think it, it's better as a formative piece than maybe as a summative. Especially in the beginning was really hard because so many people had questions about what this task was asking about, especially in the beginning. Trying to help individually in the beginning, individual students during the test did not work well. I was running around all over the place and not getting everybody the help they wanted. I'm going to have you guys close your Chromebooks and put other things away. Projecting it ahead of time and going through each screen and even showing the students how to use the tools has definitely helped them. Um, they had less questions during it. But you have to be careful because sometimes the screen will have the answer to the previous question. So I really go through those um, pretty quickly. Introducing them and telling them what to do and kind of what the limitations are help with the questions. As we continue with energy, specifically energy in our weather unit, we're going to go back to those energies that we have learned previously. Um, so what I'd like you guys to do is just kind of follow along up here as we go through each screen. Most of the screens you have seen before, but I just want to clarify a few things. Have them work with the tests at the same time as I did. I always had a few students who just blazed through ahead of schedule and okay, they're going to do that. Um, with the rest of the students, I would help them through each one. You know, it's tricky because everybody moves at a different pace. It likely will not take the whole time, but you can take as much time as you need. If you finish, or when you finish, you can absolutely work on your weather project. Remember, if it has the word with the line, you can click it and a picture will come up. Again, if you are confused as to what they are asking, even in the last section, you want to make sure over here you grab this screen text. When you click on this, it will give you instructions. So if you're not sure what to do, make sure you are checking on that. Now this one's a little bit different. And this is something that we have not seen. There's one thing different. Last time there were seven spots and you had to place the arrows. This time there are only six. Is it increasing, decreasing, or causing no change? When the students are taking the task, generally they will just stay in their seats, um, open it up. I'll just kind of circulate, make sure that they um, don't have any questions. We talk about their results when they're finished. We celebrate the ones that did well, and they get to shine when they get to explain to the other students on how they did. I have had students look at their score every time they finish the task. I ask them to look at their score, look at the individual statements that were that were put down at the bottom. Do they agree? Do they not agree? Um, and then having a, a little written reflection piece that they do. We'll actually go through and discuss each question and kind of what the correct answer should have been and why, um, especially for, for some of the concepts that they should know. There are more correct ones. Do you guys see any, anything else that maybe would have worked? Or did you do something else? Yeah, Alexis. Immediately when they're done, they get their scores. Afterwards, we'll address what each score report kind of meant and where their strengths and weaknesses are. I will 
look over the questions. I use them to more guide a class discussion or even group discussions. They've really done a great job at giving feedback. I have a student who is currently in a reading intervention. Um, he struggles with work completion and when we did the on par, he was one of my top two students. The understanding of the content is there, but I think he has a difficult time because of the amount of reading that's involved, that when he can see visuals, he can really put those together, showing their content understanding um, higher with the on par tasks than they would on maybe a traditional assessment or specifically writing assessments yeah. to give them one more opportunity to demonstrate their learning.